we have this capacitor that is connected across a certain voltage VG um, for a very long time to the extent that it has been um, charged um, to maximum and is now behaving like an open um, circuit. And now, what we are going to do is we are going to switch it over um, to point B. Our task will be to derive an expression that allows us to figure out the voltage and current flowing through um, this resistor R at any point in time as the capacitor discharges. To do that, we go back to our KCL equations, which tells us that the sum of current at any junction um, is zero. And the current here, let's call it IC, and the current in this branch, let's call that IR. And we can say that IC plus IR equals zero. Now IC can be written as C dV dt as that is the current flowing through the capacitor and IR can be written as V over R as that is the current flowing through the resistor. This gives us a first order differential equation which is the characteristic of your first order circuit. To simplify this further, to simplify this further we can say that C dV dt would be equals to minus V over R. Then we can say that um, dV dt is equals to minus V over R C. Then we can write it that um, dV over V equals minus dT R C. We can then proceed to integrating both sides. If we integrate both sides, we have it that um, V naught and V T um, one over V dV gives us minus one over R C um, integrating uh, dt with a lower limit of zero and an upper limit of t and that will give us uh, log to base e of um, v t minus log to base e of v naught and then we would have it uh, uh, minus t over r C. We can then say that log to base V T over V naught equals minus T over R C. Then we can rewrite this as um, V T over V naught equals E raised to minus T over R C. Which means that V T equals V naught E raised to power minus T over R C. And this is awesome since we know that the um, voltage across this resistor at any point in time, V of T is equals to V naught E raised to power minus T over R C. We can then go ahead to calculate our current at any point in time since our current is going to be V over R. Then that means that I T would be equal to V naught E raised power minus T over R C all over R. And that would be the current at any point in time flowing through this capacitor. They are flowing through this resistor. We also know that the power P is given by IV. 
and that would mean that um, P is equals to B not multiplied by E raised to the T over R C multiplied by V not E raised to the T over R C all over R and that will give us V not squared over R multiplied by E two T over R C and that will be the power dissipated across uh, this resistor at any point in time. Also to get the amount of energy stored across um, the energy um, that has been dissipated across the resistor at any point in time, we just have to integrate our power uh, formula with respect to time, P uh, dt, and I'm not going to um, bother you with the integration, I'm just going to write the answer. We're going to arrive at R C V squared, uh, C V not squared, uh, then 1 minus e raised to power 2t over rc and that is the energy stored across the capacitor uh, the energy dissipated across the resistor at any point in time